Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics Textbook 5th edition by S. Timoshenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao, Sukmar, Pati. In this video, we will solve problem set 2.1, problem number 2.18. Three forces are applied to a body as shown in the figure. The directions of the 200 newtons may vary but the angle between these forces is always 30 degrees. Determine the range of values of alpha for which the resultant of the forces acting at A is directed horizontally to the left if P is equal to 250 newtons. That means there is a body and three forces are acting on the body at A. One force is 250 newtons and the angle made by the 250 newtons with the horizontal is 45 degrees. And there are two other forces, 100 newtons and 100 newtons acting on the body. Angle between those two 100 newtons is 30 degrees. But this alpha value may change. Now our aim is to find the value of alpha in such a way that the resultant force is horizontal and it is towards left side. The formula or concept required to solve the problem is parallelogram law. According to the parallelogram law, if P and Q are the two forces acting on a body and the angle between the two forces P and Q is alpha, then the resultant force will be identified like this. Construct a parallelogram by considering this P and Q are the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram. How it can be done? By drawing a line parallel to P from Q and by drawing an another line parallel to Q from P, then it forms a parallelogram. In this parallelogram, the major diagonal R will becomes the resultant force. And that resultant force is given by the equation R is equal to square root under P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos alpha. Let the angle between one of the force P and the resultant force R is beta. And this beta is given by the equation sin beta is equal to Q by R into sin alpha. Similarly, let the angle between the resultant force and the force Q is gamma. And this gamma is given by sin gamma is equal to P by R into sin alpha. So in this problem, first let us try to find the resultant of these 200 Newton's force. The angle between these 200 Newton's force is given as 30 degrees. So I can find the resultant by using this formula just now we discussed. And after substituting that, R1 is equal to square root under 100 square plus 100 square plus 2 into 100 into 100 into cos 30. I will get 193.2 newtons. And angle made by the resultant with either of the 100 newtons can be calculated by using the equation sin beta is equal to Q by R into sin alpha. So sin beta is equal to 100 by 193.2 into sin 30 which gives the value of 15 degrees. That means I can replace these 200 Newton's force with a single force of magnitude R1 is equal to 193.2 and makes an angle 15 degrees with this 100 Newton's. So this is my new diagram now. There are only two forces. One is 250 Newton's Another one is 193.2 Newtons. These 250 Newtons makes an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal 
and this 193.2 newtons makes an angle of 15 plus alpha with the horizontal. Now my aim is to see that this resultant force, the resultant of these two forces must be horizontal and it is towards left side. For that, I will use this formula. Let the angle between R and P is 45 degrees. That is given. The angle between R and P is 45. That is given. So, I can substitute in the formula that sin 45 is equal to 193.2 by R into angle between these two forces that is sin 60 plus alpha. So, I will get one equation in terms of R and alpha. R, I can say R is equal to 193.2 by sin 45 into sin 60 plus alpha. I can rearrange this equation. And then upon solving this, I will get R is equal to 273.23 into sin 60 plus alpha. Let this equation is 1. Now, I will take the other equation. I know that the angle between R and this 193.2 is sin 15 plus alpha. That I know. So, I can say that sin 15 plus alpha is equal to P by R. That is 250 by R into sin 60 plus alpha. So, this I can simplify and I can write that R is equal to 250 by sin 15 plus alpha into sin 60 plus alpha. This is my equation 2. Equation 1, I have one equation uh, R is equal to so and so and for equation 2, I have another equation R is equal to uh, so and so. By using the equations 1 and 2, I can write the equation as 273.23 into sin 60 plus alpha is equal to 250 into sin 15 plus alpha into sin 60 plus alpha. So, sin 60 plus alpha gets cancelled. Then I can get sin 15 plus alpha is equal to 250 by 273.23. That means sin 15 plus alpha is equal to 0.915. That means so, this 0.915 means sin of 66.205 is 0.915. So, after simplification, I will get 15 plus alpha is equal to 66.205 or alpha is equal to 51.205 is the final answer. My dear friends and students, if you want the solution for any of the subject in the field of machine design, namely strength of materials, theory of machines, machine design, engineering mechanics, finite element method, mechanical vibrations, please give the reference in the comment section so that I will solve the problem, prepare a video and upload in my channel. Please subscribe and share my video